Hello and thank you for watching this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find and also how to treat missing values. Let's have a first look at the data. Imagine you are working for the government in the European Union, for example, and you are in the administration office and you receive some data about education in a cross-country analysis, right? And you have some countries given in column one and then some um, uh, teaching lessons for math, art, language, and then the respectively gender and the age. And now, unfortunately, some data are missing. Imagine what would happen if there are no missing values in each data sheet. The world would be a better place, I guess. Just kidding. Let's continue. So, now we want to find these values and now in this example it's 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 just a short data sheet for academic purpose but imagine if you have over 100,000 observations then it's kind of hard to see that at the first glance. Uh, good that we use this data, right? So, first of all, the command you need is m descriptive for missing descriptive statistics, right? And it shows you um, for each variable how many values are missing, right? So you are quite familiar with that. So you can see that, but um, it shows you only in total of missing, but you want to see it more in detail, right? There are several ways to do so. Um, first of all, you might want to type in list if missing, and then for example, you can type in math, and then you'll see also in table arrangement what's going on right so um, don't need to explain that any further we can type in some other um other variable for example in, in it looks like this right so you can compare that also if you are not familiar with that code or you think yeah i usually i don't like that that much or depending on your uh, variable form if it's byte or string, for example, you may want to change. And if you are sure that it's not a string, you can type in list if math, for example, and then double eagle oh, missing, and then it shows you actually the same results, right? So you need to check that out. So that's how to find and how to identify them, right? And now you wonder how to treat them. For an easy example is you either just delete them, right? You can um, do that if um, drop if and then missing value, right? Uh, just as I showed you, or um, drop if and then this command, right? But it will delete that. And that's one way to do so because if you keep missing values and it doesn't fit in your academic research or whatever you're trying to do, there might be false results, right? And But if you, in the scope of replacing them with a certain number, let's say if it's missing, we just use the average, then uh, there might be a um, code you might want to try. First, let's say we want to replace the missing values for in math with the average score right so then we need to find some math and then we see the mean value is um, 8.125 and then we can type in replace math and a safe way to do so is just to go copy and paste it if missing math for example right so and then it replace the missing values for the category math, as you can see here in browse. Now, if you want to do the same for art, for example, you type in some art, and then you can replace, now I'm going to change the command a little bit, replace art, and then save ways, and then if art equals the missing value, right? So, and then it changes also. And then, and then at least for these two columns, you don't have any missing values. Now you can do that with all the other columns, but 
please keep in mind that it's quite important that a starter is only a tool of your own behavior, right? It doesn't solve any problems for you. You just need to think first what's going on, what are the steps to reach my goal, and does it make sense either to drop them or to replace them, right? So please keep that in mind. I've just showed you some commands which may be helpful. If you do not want to miss any further videos, please subscribe. And if you do have any questions, leave them below. And in the end, I need to thank my sponsor for this video. Uh, she comes from Ingolstadt. Thank you very much.